plate technology is quickly becoming the most talked about topic in the water ionization industry. Most of the emails I get about plates and plate technology have a concerned tone and they're almost always filled with misinformation. For example, October 22nd, Greg in San Antonio writes, please give me a call. The person that introduced us to ionized water contends that our machine is poisoning us. Thanks, Greg. Well, I'm Rob Gray, and today we'll take a quick look at the specifics regarding plate technology and separate the facts from the fiction. In the next few moments, we'll cover the myth of mesh. Design, solid, slotted, or hybrid. Plate material and composition. Platinum, plated or coated. And finally, medical grade metal. But first, the number one question I'm asked is about plate reliability. Well, joining me here today is the star of my very first ionizersreview.com video, the Tyant MMP 5050. Well, just recently I retired my MMP and replaced it with an upgraded Tyant model. But this very 5050 served my family safely and reliably for nearly four years. Today, however, I say goodbye and ask my ionizer to make the ultimate sacrifice to the water ionizer industry. Though the MMP 5050 hasn't done anything to warrant such a fate, today we're going to crack it open and find out what the plates look like after a few years of service. Now let's go have some fun. Okay, so here we have a set of plates from a Tyne MMP 5050 that went into service back in 2007. As you can see, the slotted or mesh plate design are Tyne's old technology, but still in what I would consider to be like new condition. Now, let's get right down to it. This, on the other hand, is a piece of window screen, normally used for a screen door. This is the number one visual scare tactic used by solid plate manufacturers to misinform the public. This piece of screen is flimsy, it's brittle, it lacks integrity. This is not what a mesh plate looks like, and mesh plates don't resemble any of these characteristics. Now that we have that out of the way, let's discuss our three basic plate types. Solid, slotted or mesh, and a solid mesh hybrid. The function of a water ionizer plate is very simple. Conduct as much electricity as possible. Simply stated, the more electricity, the more effect on the water and the other minerals and the greater the ionization benefit is for you. So let's take a look at what plate engineers design to enhance the conductivity of the plate. In 1831, world-renowned electrical engineer Michael Faraday invented the magneto based upon a series of principles that proves electricity prefers edges. This is the reason why lightning rods have a sharp point at the top to attract lightning bolts. The solid plate, used stubbornly by a Nagix Kangen water ionizer, is based upon first generation technology and hasn't evolved at all since its introduction. It does not incorporate Faraday's basic principles of conductivity. The plate is big and smooth, but has an electrical conductivity area commonly known as ECA of only 246. 
slotted plates. Ionizers Reviewed.com's best value ionizer and one of my personal favorites, the KYK Generation 2, features the slotted plate design. Again, this is commonly referred to in the industry as mesh. While the slotted plate is often criticized for its lack of solid surface area, it actually has an ECA of more than 332. Solid mesh hybrid plates. Recently, Tyne upgraded its water cell plates to the new drilled technology, or solid mesh hybrid as it's commonly known in the industry. It's a balance between surface area and conductive edges, boasting an ECA of more than 355. So now you'll be able to quickly tell the difference between Kangen's solid plates the common slotted or mesh plate as it's known, and the new mesh solid hybrid that's incorporated in Tyne's new MMP lineup. Every ionizer considered for review on ionizersreview.com must meet a minimum set of requirements. In fact, every ionizer that I review is registered as a medical device in its country of origin, specifically Japan and Korea. All the plates in each of the ionizers is made of titanium with platinum plating or coating. Titanium is used because it's the most bioadaptable metal, used almost exclusively in hip and joint replacements. Platinum is used to enhance conductivity. Contrary to rumors, none of the plates melt or crumble. In fact, the perimeter of every water cell is plastic, and chances are good that the plastic might melt before the titanium or platinum does. The notable difference, however, is how the plates are coated. Enagic uses a plating process that applies platinum smoothly and evenly across the entire plate. Other manufacturers use a specialized dip and spray application, which leaves the surface rough to the touch. Mesh and hybrid plates are cut to size, the mesh or drill pattern is applied, and finally dipped and sprayed with platinum, making sure that no titanium is exposed in the water cell. Take a look at how these variations affect the plate's surface areas. Under 100 times magnification, the image of the solid plate on the left is much more smooth than the magnified image of the sprayed plate on the right. Although the dip and spray process increases the plate's total surface area and conductive efficiency of the plate, it is not considered when calculating the total plate ECA. The platinum spray process is now used by most manufacturers to create a more complete ionization process. Nowadays, there's a lot of jibber jabber as well as far as whether the water cell can be opened or not. Some water cells are serviceable. They can be unscrewed and opened up, while others are glued shut. The reality situation is it just doesn't matter either way. As you can see, the water cell that we cracked open after about four years of service obviously is not falling apart, it's not eroding, it's not rusting. Any reputable manufacturer will have a citric acid cleaning cartridge that can be applied annually to keep the water cell in tip-top shape. Another term haphazardly tossed around the water cooler when discussing plates is medical grade. One manufacturer claims that it uses specialized platinum and titanium costing thousands of dollars in each machine. Well, this here is an ounce of silver. Silver is an element, just like platinum and titanium. There's no such thing as medical grade or surgical silver, the same way there's no such thing as medical grade titanium. An element is either an element or it's not, but it can't be both. Instead, that's called an alloy. You've probably heard of surgical steel. This designation is appropriate since steel is an alloy and the quality of the alloy can be measured. If a plate is made of titanium and coated or plated with platinum and is used in an ionizer approved by its country's medical authority, you can be certain it uses manufactured components that are both safe and effective. I hope this short video eliminates some of the confusion regarding so-called poisonous plates. In closing, all of the ionizers reviewed again on my website use plate technology that is durable, reliable and safe, and medically approved. There are many ways to compare water ionizers and a lot of features to evaluate, but I can't stress this point enough. Avoid making a decision based on plate rumors. Mesh and hybrid plates are technologically superior to less expensive and outdated solid plates, and either are certain to provide your family decades of safe and reliable service. I'm Rob Gray, and thanks again for joining me here on ionizersreviewed.com.